Mine Shape Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to review this Ozark Trail tent. And yes, we are actually camping. So if something goes wrong with this, we have no other tents. All we would have is the boat with the tarp on it. Well, it's not a tarp, it's a boat cover. But if that happens, at least we got that. And we always got the truck. So stay tuned. Let's review this together. We're going to set it up and all that. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. So here's the tent we have. Okay. It's an Ozark Trail. Right there. Now, I'm not being sponsored by them or anything like that. My favorite is Coleman. My second favorite is Ozark Trail. This is just a Walmart tent. What did we give for this? Um, was it $40? 40 $40? Close to it. I don't know. It wasn't very much. Uh-uh. Um, I don't think it was 40 Oh, I can't remember, guys. But anyway, you know, it's got... It is a... The sleep six now remember guys that's how many people you can sleep in it it'll fit two queen size mattresses center height is six foot now that's how many you can sleep but remember the reason why we got a six person tent here is because and there's only two of us is because remember you're going to have gear and all that stuff so people go oh it's six person but then they don't have enough room well that's why so let's see it's got a storage locker it's got an alternate storage pocket. It's got a media pocket and e-port. That way you can run electric into it. Hook and loop cord organization. Um, and it's got a little awning for rain protection. So, and it's also got, you know, it's got the rain fly. Because I do believe this one is um, like a screen on top. Yeah, see, which is cool. I like that. Now here we wouldn't really see much of the stars because of the trees, but and also it's good ventilation. Now this is not a winter camping thing, but you know, so it does have. This is the rain fly here, so should be pretty cool. So I'm gonna get you set up on the on the pod, and then we're gonna get this out of the box. And take it over here by where Bruno's at, and we're gonna set it up. Okay, guys. So let's go ahead and let's open this up. Monkey mentioned in her video we saw our TP tent. Someone's got the exact same TP tent across the way over here that we have. Huh. Yeah. Now, when you buy these things, guys, it always gives you your your dangers and there's your instructions on how to set it up and all of that. So we should need these. And they're sewn in, so you're not going to lose them. So that's pretty good. So go ahead. Start pulling some stuff out of here. Um, I didn't buy a fish stringer, but I found this. Someone made one. So I'm keeping it, at least for while we're here and then I may leave it for the next guy okay so these must be little pockets that's cool all right here now I never put them back in the box you'll never get it back in the box but you can if you if you do it right it tells you how to fold it up too you can always get them back in there it's a pain in the ass but you can Pull, monk. Pull. Pull, monk. Pull. <laughs> All right. Now, these things. Also, not only do these tie this together, but if you would need some cordage for something in an emergency situation, there's about three feet of it right here. And another one. Okay. So, you're looking at a good six foot of, you know, if you if you need it okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna get our poles out set these down here 
these are our tent stakes there this should be the rain fly oh that's nice and heavy right here now keep in mind guys this is car camping truck camping or whatever that doesn't necessarily mean you're sleeping in your vehicle what that means is bring everything you can put it in your vehicle this this is not a hiking tent it's not you know you're not going to want to carry this thing i mean it's not real heavy but still if you're hiking four or five miles back in, in into the wilderness you're not going to want to carry something like this um because i had some comments a few years ago I think it was on my last camping video I did when I lived in Ohio that I ended up removing because these, these I think these guys were friends or something because it was both talking about the same way it was two different channel names but actually I don't even think it was a channel I think it was just people commenting but if, if anyway from what I can remember but I do remember they was talking about well that's stupid look how because we showed how we packed a car and a car was packed down that old buick was packed to the gills how are you gonna carry all that in the woods well you're not you know this is car camping this is when you find a camping spot you pull your car up and you get everything out that's what this is this is not a hiking deal i can't hike anymore and uh so you know just keep in mind okay so what we're going to do i'm going to turn you around and we're going to take this over here monkey and i and we're going to set this up right over by bruno okay guys i'm going to have to speak up a little bit you may not be able to hear me i didn't bring any uh wireless mics because my wireless mics both sets quit working now so we'll do the best we can and you know right now we're just going to lay it out and we're going to stake the corners stuff like that and then i'll show you how to put the poles in What we're going to do, we're just going to, our fire pit's going to be over here. So we're going to kind of, we wanted to angle it towards the fire pit. So we're going to, we're going to kind of go like this. Now, as you can see, the monkey and I kind of scraped away anything, any nuts, uh, anything like this. This rock you may find, you're not going to want to, you know, you're not going to want to put your tent up on that. So. I'll fix it. Oh, that's a pretty big tent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got my broom? Let me no. get broom. No. I can broom it. If you want to broom it, you go right ahead. There's your broom. Right there. Show them your broom. So I made Monkey a broom. <laughs> Here's my broom. Okay? And it works better than a regular broom. I don't care. I like it. See? Okay. All right. Keep all that stuff away from me. Now, now we're going to take... Let's see what's in this little baggie here. Okay. Jeez, give her a palm frond, keep her busy for hours. Yeah. I'm going to take it home with me. You hand her a broom at the house, she's like, what's this? You give her a palm frond out in the wilderness, she's busy for hours. I'm monk. Yep, yeah, I'm good. Now, okay. Here's our stakes. I did bring a hammer, and this is for the uh, 
I believe, either for the porch or the rain fly. I can't remember. But we'll check those out. So right now, I'm just going to hammer these down into the ground. I'm going to I'm just going to do four corners right now. Now these stakes are not the greatest, but I'll tell you what, they are heftier than some of the other tents, like our teepee tent. Um, they're a little heftier. So, what were they, like a dollar something for the big yeah the nail type the, the spike style but they only had four of them i knew i was going to need more than four so i'm just going to use what it came with for now mm -hmm. so but like if you're if you're in say georgia around georgia area you're in the clay this will be fine but down here we're mostly sand this is a little bit of dirt but it's 90 percent sand so these aren't going to hold up the greatest but it's okay because you know we got a picnic table here if we got to tie off too because I did bring some cordage. I just snug these up. Don't have to be super done and whopping tight. Right, Mama. Alright, to find a fucking root. All right. now I'm gonna shut y'all for a minute. I'm gonna go around and put the rest of them in just the same way, but you always start with your four corners and wherever it needs them, that's where we're gonna put them. I think there's one here. There's one here. So there's one there. there. You get the idea. Once you get your four corners, stake it down. If you got an octagon one, kind of just, you know, crisscross. No biggie. Okay, guys, so this doesn't have any along the back or the sides. All it has is two in the front. One here. This is for, like, your little closet thing. And one right there. That's all this has got. So, why is that angled like that? Anyway, so now we're going to put put our poles through, and I'll set you on the stand here and show you how they're going to work. So I'm guessing the other stakes, or what we're guessing, is for this and for the rain fly. So I'll show you about these these poles here these are real simple huh good okay now we're going to take our poles now these ones these ones here are not going to be for the tent itself okay Okay. But you see how they just kind of go together on their own? Okay. Makes life easier, don't it? This is for the porch. Okay. So we're just going to set this over here for now. now we've got our tent poles here. <laughs> wow. Nope. 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 Okay, so I'm just showing them how they go together. I'm going to take it back apart. Most of it. See? Okay? Now they're going to go through loops into the tent. Okay? So, 
all right so you can see how long it is so see because they're I believe these are going to crisscross will make you jump jump okay that just gives you an idea how long that is because it's going to bend and stretch okay so we're going to run them through the little dealios there yeah, I believe it's corner to corner on this I'll check and make sure and then we'll turn you on and um, when we when we get them through there I'll show you how they go it's real simple okay guys here's what can you see this real good mm -hmm. sure. this is what this is how this hello shut up Bruno this is how this goes you just slide up in here just like this now up in here uh oh there's a stump here deal with that here in a minute and then goes into the other one you just push this down through just like that till it comes out the other side and then just put it together as you go just like that okay try not to punch a hole in your tent I've done that before Just like that I'm gonna do the same thing with this one and then I'll kick put you on the stand and I'll kick you back on when we're ready to set it up okay guys now what these little things here are for is to put a lot of people put them in the ground and just stick this through a ring it's not what that's for this is to keep it from going into the ground okay so I'm gonna do that on that one I'm gonna do it on this one just like that now what we want to do is I'm gonna get monkey to help me it is possible to do it with one person but it's easier with two so I'm gonna get monkey to help me I'm gonna have her grab one end or one pole and I'm gonna grab the other pole and we're gonna put it up in the air and then once we get get it to those rings that's exactly what we're gonna do on the other two ends so I'm gonna put you on the on the pod here Okay, you gotta grab this. Yeah. Do what I'm doing. Okay. I'll push up, same time. gonna go around and we're gonna we're just going to clip these right onto the pole just like that <coughs> excuse me and we're pretty much done now see this is why I can't believe they don't see how it's hooving up 
clean it. So that's why I can't believe they don't have stakes in through there. Maybe it'll stretch out. Anyway, then I'm gonna get the dining fly out and or rain fly. And I'll show you how to put that on. Okay, so we put the rain fly on. All we did was one person on each side and walked it right around. And these we just hooked right around that ring right there. It's just a hook. And we just hooked it right around that ring. Now what I'm gonna do is on here, see there's a little hole here. And on this side, a little hole there. Okay, now that's for these to go into. And it's gonna go right up in through here. See it stitching? Just like the tent poles went in. They're gonna go right through there. So I'll put you on the stand and I'll show you that. Okay. Real simple. Easy peasy. Alright, now. Pull. On the inside. Just go right through it. Just like you did the, the tent, the tent poles. Alright. Now I'm gonna take this side here. It doesn't matter which side. It just happened to be on this side. I'm gonna stick that in that little hole. Same way with this side. Push it up. It takes a little bit of pressure, but put it in that hole. And there is Monkey's little porch that she likes to well on one of our other ones. So, I think it tells you to go ahead and set it up before you stake it down, but um, maybe that's why this is lifting up there. I can always loosen it if we have to. Also, on the back here, we're not done yet, but on the back, get you off the stand. See, there's one of these things here. And there's one here, okay? So, we'll show you what they're for. Okay, we're gonna unzip this. goes through come on can I go like this nope can't do it on this one alright so we're just going to stick this through this hole like that see that and we're going to do it here on the other one this one don't have one like that huh. Got how is it supposed to how are you supposed to? Oh, okay. There is a thing on the inside. Oh. Alright guys, just roll it up like you do the windows inside your tent. There. Oh, okay. I guess you can do it like this too. Yeah. yeah. Roll it up. Sorry I told you wrong, but there. Just like that. Mm -hmm. You got a nice breeze. There, just like that. We'll fix this so it looks a little better. There. Then at night, or if it rains, whoosh, you can drop that down. Now I'll show you a couple another couple another couple little features here okay we got this here 
All right, now it doesn't really tell you how this goes. We just had to figure it out by looking at the pictures. But there's four loops. There's one here, one here, one here above monkey, one here. So all this does, again, you just hook it. Hook it into that loop with that little hook right there. Just do that all four corners you don't have to use this um, because if you want right up here you can hang a light are you too close or you can hang a light there or whatever you want fan whatever there's that also down here yep you can Put yep. storage up here. Down here is two loops here. Okay. So this is for. See, it's got plastic on this side and it's mesh on this side. I guess in case it rains. So you know, there's plastic here. Mm -hmm. I'm just guessing. I don't don't mark me on that. But this is what they're calling a media pocket. Just a place to put your cell phone. Your iPod, whatever. Put it down in there. And we've got a pocket, several pockets here. There's four pockets. There's four pockets here. There's four pockets here. And this is cute. Okay. Okay, show me back through there, monkey. That. No, back, back through there, monkey. Show them back through there, monkey. And then, why do they, what's wrong with these zippers? Jeez. All right, there we go. So, we can put stuff in through that way, grab it out of here, or vice versa, put stuff in here and grab it from inside. It's for your shoes. Yeah, but whatever, I mean. Like if it was raining or muddy yeah. or whatever, you can put your shoes in there. Yeah, but you can do whatever. Yeah. I mean, That'd be a nice little hole for Bruno. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> okay, now we're going to turn this down, turn this down. Okay, now, Put a zipper on the bottom because what I like to do is see these zippers on the bottom. There's two of them. There's one on top, one on the bottom. What I like to do is I like to have the zippers like right in this area. Okay? Because if water starts running down, it doesn't have a hole for it to go. You follow me? <laughs> so I try to keep them, especially if you got a porch. That way, because if it's down there, you know, water's going to run down here. Right. It can come in, you know? Mm-hmm. So, there's that. Uh, there's this. Now, we're going to roll this up. Same way with the outside one. Like that. Now, what we've got, we got, there's a loop here. A loop here, a loop here, and a loop here, okay? We don't know what they're for. Um, these may be I don't see those things. I thought maybe these are for when you roll this up. Yeah, right? Okay. I try to keep mine closed for bugs. Yeah, okay. So these two or for if you want to keep the door open. You roll it just like you would that and your door stays open. We like to keep it closed for mosquitoes. Or I do. But still, I don't know if you can put maybe like a rod here and you can hang stuff on it. Mm -hmm. Or whatever, it doesn't say. Mm -hmm. So anyway. Pretty cool though, you oh, like that's it? That's really cool. Mm -hmm. I forgot out here we need to show them this out here on this um 
on the ring fly. There's there's these. They velcro right around that pole. Okay? So there's those. Alright? And no, they should have them all the way around. Yes, they do. Just go ahead and velcro. That's what I'm doing right now. Just velcro them all the way around there. And these, these here, see we got four stakes. But these are for the paracord to bring these out. So that way when it's raining, you don't have water, you know, this getting wet and making this wet. So that's what those are for. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and put these in. I still don't know why we got four stakes when there's only two of these, right? Or is there one on the back? No, there's only two of these. Okay, let, I don't know. Let me get these put on and we'll see. Okay guys, so this is how I'm doing this. Monkey's trying to figure out uh, why we got two extra stakes and one extra one of these, but uh, all I did was tied one of these knots on here, just doubled it over itself, and I stuck it through this hole here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this in through here like this on it then I'm gonna put put my I'm gonna put my uh, my stake right through here just like this and I'm gonna bring it a little snug I'm just gonna stick it in the ground just like that and that's uh that's that's pretty much it you know one person can set it up uh it's really no big deal just do one pole at a time uh but monkey was here so i had her help me and there it is there is the tent so overall so far setup piece of cake instructions could be more could be more informative like so because we had to figure out that net there exactly how it went I still it still doesn't say what that loops for and the other one on this side it doesn't say I guess it'd be pretty much self-explanatory I guess it's just hooks it could say you know for whatever you want but and this is where you're your electrical cord will go in right through there. They've got a double slap to help keep the mosquitoes out and the rain. Uh, I do like that that is like that. I do like that this is really easy to remove if you just want a, a whole breeze through there. Um, I don't know how well it's going to be in the rain, like if it's going to seep through that zipper or not. Okay, guys, so what I'm seeing is there's a spot right here. This is the back wall. There's a spot here, spot here, spot here. Now, that is where the fucking zipper is. I mean, if it seeps through the zipper, it's kind of senseless even having this damn thing. But hopefully it doesn't. I mean, it's got a flap over it, but, you know, wind could blow it, you know what I mean? And, um, I did bring some, some sealer, water, waterproofing, but there it is. There's the tent. So overall, so far, just from setting it up, I'll have to, you know, update the review maybe on Monday when we get back home and how it's doing. Um, but right now actually because um, uninformative to me that means a lot when you need information because this one's not just you know just a regular dome tent it's got the extra pockets and stuff that one yeah was pretty self-explanatory but like i said the loops just because lack of information i'm going to give it a seven out of ten so far and when it rains we'll have to see see what happens and also like i said it's very uninformative 
because we still have one of these I don't know what it's for there's no place on the back to put it and we still got two stakes uh, it says nowhere in the instructions I mean no. you shouldn't huh no there's nothing yeah you shouldn't have leftovers like that I mean it I would jump them up to a 10 right now if they said we gave you a couple extra things Yeah, there's that nothing. right there would immediately right. give it a 10 because usually you have just enough if you lose a stake you're screwed yeah then you're usually, yeah. you're trimming tree branches and shit now if it is extra well that's pretty well cool. they should say yeah. you know you get a couple extra stakes and an extra cordage yeah i would say okay i'd give it a 10 right now yeah. but all right we're gonna let bruno get in the tent because he that's why he's whining he wants in there so bad <laughs> so what do you think monk what are you giving him right now i'm giving him the well, seven i don't think it was easy easy no um well veteran tent setups yeah it's pretty easy well, but for for greenhorns you know for yeah, like me if i had to put that up i would have had to right it. it wouldn't have been easy i like how they put the the poles together yeah but that to me is fine but, but, but how how what do you rate it oh i i probably give it a six okay well that's yeah. not bad though yeah. um so for but for veteran you know seasoned campers tent setter uppers <laughs> uh you know it's fairly easy you know on a scale of one being in e being the easiest and ten being the hardest, I I would give it a two to three. Um, but like Monkey said, if you never done one before, you'd have a little trouble. So so it's always good when you get a tent like this. If you're planning on going camping, you know, set it up a week or two before. You know that way you'll get the gist of it and then tear it down pack it away and then you you got an idea but like i said if these are extra just because they know people lose things like me then i would give it a 10 but right now i'm giving it a seven we'll see what it does mm -hmm. during the weather right monk yeah okay guys update i found out where this goes this goes and this goes the uh uh the one stake and a paracord goes on to this one here or here. One of the two, okay? Stake. Stake. And the other stake goes down here. Like that. <laughs> Go figure, huh? That was bothering me, wasn't it, monkey? Yeah. This is like 20 minutes after we ended the video. So yeah. now you'll get to see the end of the video. All right, so we're gonna put Bruno inside here. I think he wants to go in there and romp around. Shaber, myth, man, legend, gone for now. Mike, says she's out. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. We'll see you soon. Bye, bye.